Uh, Sheikh, uh, yesterday I asked you the question, but you misunderstood me. Uh, so it was about uh, Jum'ah Jum with two khatibs, you know? So um, I said the following. There are two men, okay? One delivers a khutbah in Arabic, okay, then he sits. Then the listener stands up and delivers the translation in German, okay? Then the sitting one, so the first one stands up again, takes the, the second khutbah, and then, he, and then he's the imam for two rak'ahs. So the Arab does everything normal, just the difference is in his sitting where normally everyone is silent, one, someone stands up and then uh, speaks German allowed and this is just part of their Juma. I already spoke to them, they should change it, but they refused with basically no reason. Uh, I hope this is clear now. So uh, by your correction, the Khatib of the Juma is actually giving two khutbas of the Juma. However, the innovation they've introduced is that in between the two khutbas, a translator stands up to give a translation. Again, that is nicht good. And this is totally against the sunnah and wrong. However, does that invalidate the khutbah or the Friday uh, prayer? I would personally believe that it would not invalidate it because in so many incidents, while the Prophet was giving alayhi salatu wasalam, his Friday speech, there was an interaction between him and one of the worshippers by either clarification or a request or any of that sort. And the Prophet would interrupt his khutbah to listen and reply to that individual. So the prayer, inshallah, is valid. But what they are doing is a clear innovation and it's prohibited. And Allah Azza wa Jal knows best.